Hello and welcome to Jungle Crossroads with game two between Saitama in the green this time with his trolls. Cheeky cheeky color choice in the jungle. Trying to camouflage his big 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 nasty brutes. Coming in with the standard opener, double stone, quadruple uh, triple wood chopper, quadruple wood chopper, pardon me, and double hunt. As well as Le Chieftain. And rising with the slightly failed zombie pull here. Which is interesting. And the high hierophant on the dwarven side with the blue dwarves. Triple stone, double hunt. And with a quick stone pull back here for a safer uh, charcoal burner, which he will need. So that wasn't the fastest he could have been. But he's good. He's still good. Moly boy on his way forward. Saitama sending the boy over. Grabbing a potion. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's let this game roll on a bit. Mole Rider is gonna check on his counterpart. Trying to find the man. Let's keep an eye on this lad here. Yep, classic. Grab the zombies and shimmy them over to your enemy. Well, he's a bit fast there. The zombies might actually turn back. No, no. Okay, yeah, he's leaving some of them behind. But that's enough for the stone pole. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Meanwhile, our mole rider is... Keeping track that the troll doesn't go across the map. Trouble first. Ooh! Ooh! Hello! That is interesting. So apparently he's able to put that close enough that the troll can't actually get past. So the stone cutter is safe ish. The question is is he gonna repair it? And in fact, he just gave him some nice XP there by not pulling them all over there so it's a decent start for our dwarf player should probably repair the stone cutter let's We're see unless he's needing the stone specifically for something else uh oh pick up the loot pick up the bag uh oh tag him and bag him tag him and bag him run the club's too big my boy the club's too big oh, he thought he could take it he couldn't. He had a Drax moment there. From Avengers there. Our the Guardians and the Golden We've expended our Galaxy. Ah. Uh, okay, Nakamura's gonna be pissed. As well as she, once she runs out of potions. But Stonecutter coming up. Pretty slightly far away, probably to avoid the uh, stone bug. Ugh, another potion. <laughs> oh, that's a very fancy sword for a... That's a very fancy sword. Nice Highland claim, the one with a high guard. Complete. We've expanded our borders. For our girl there. Ooh. Trolley boy going, coming in with the troll guard again. Good stuff, good stuff. It's one of the maps where level 5 is decently easy to achieve, unless you're getting hard harassed. Which could be an issue for her. Not quite sure what's... Rising seems to be a bit slow. I usually see him a bit faster. Not quite sure what's the issue here. Not repairing that seems to have been the right choice. Since it's not under pressure anymore. That's a lot of birds. Building completed. There, has, there haven't even been... Hasn't even been that much death and carnage in that general area yet. But they're ready. We are ready. For lots and lots of death. Alright, looks like Saitama now grabs these guys voluntarily. The Smashers do have to be still, like, they're chunky, but they do have the limits. But it does make him stronger. 156 versus the 120. Another nice nice little fun mechanic, why trolls are pretty damn strong. Once they get low, they go hard. Yeah, right. 
but the territory is looking good here for Rising. Where is this hero? Okay, he's back at the shops. Has bought the big boy crossbow. Well, I guess big girl crossbow. It is a woman's crossbow, my lord. If you get that reference, you're pretty awesome. Alright, we got some stuff here. So nothing aggressively forward. Looks like he just wants to grab the rest here to get his own level 5. Oh wow, that's a lot of a lot of orbs. Standard left side build here. Nothing too fancy. We'll check back on Saitama once he's gained that level 5. Is he coming across? Hey, the bag's been picked up. Apparently bags are only allowed to be picked up when you're actively hunting creep camps. Otherwise, it's a no-no. Where? Uh, hello? Oh, there they are. Yeah, the cheeky green color on the map being a bit of an issue here. Oh, that's not enough. He does have the weakening orb, and f yeah, the fire orb surprises me. Let's get to it. Because honestly, against trolls, you have a 9960 on the auto attack there. I'm not quite sure if the auto attack reloads, restarts, or if you can interweave it with that but we'll find out but that's two big boy skull crushers and a troll guard with lots of hp and standard skull crushers need a bit of a bigger flavor rather than just having a bigger club as well as slightly better like literally only better 25 slash resistance there's like no reason to build them unless you have the upgrade Oh, you're going for the troll guard. Hashtag make upgrades worth it slash trade-offs. That's my agenda for this game. And I will proclaim it as such as much as I can. Lucky for rising, Saitama is not trying to prevent the level 5, it seems. The eye of the tribe but the wall breaker is there. The tribe's land grows. And the tribe lands grows indeed. We've got the forward base secure-ish. Oh, he could hear the bags being picked up. But the stone pole 75. Oh, this is going to be spicy. Unfortunately, oh god, that was one hell of a deletion by that wall breaker. Lots of low health dwarfs, and well, I can still get the poles up here. Still gonna be an issue, but we do have barrage. We should have barrage. Take your talents, boy, before you forget it in the next fight. Oh, and here it comes. Level one scouting post. Double wall breaker. Yep, that's going down. He's probably gonna be a teleport. Oh, he hasn't picked his talents, has he? Oh, he has. Okay. Uh, I don't think he... Yeah, he didn't hit the chieftain with a bomb. He did hit the boys here. They do have uh, just a 50 PS resist, though. The outpost is complete. It is rough, rough, rough. They've expanded their borders indeed. We've got some spare dwarfs there. 52... Food float. Double stone hall. Where's the side tamas? Double fight hat. And still only the throwing camp. So is happy with that for now. Oh god, if, if this goes down, we're, we're in deep trouble. We're in trouble already. So he really needs to focus his attention on the wall breakers, which he is doing now. Yep, everything is literally beelining, which cuts his army in half. So nice bait mate. I rate 8 out of 8. But the shotgun was pretty severe. Oh wow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh that was lucky. Oh stone hall is saved. So slight miscalculation there from side time. But the question is does it matter. That's still a whole of a lot of map for a troll player. Massive slam. Big boy slamage coming in here. Yeah, and as usual, we do have the level 2s. One concentration, we've got to come here. Double troll guard. 
So we can put every every one of these into the troll guard to get his focus back on an attack. So he's bought himself a little bit of breathing room, but he has nothing upgraded back here, so this can be just easily overrun with the means at his disposal. A rising can try. Best bet for rising is probably cutting off those two godstones here for later. Grab this, grab the godstones, and hope for the best. Okay, he actually went down south. He didn't go north as I expected. There's a lot of trolls coming in on the map. If you check it. Oh, he's teleporting out. Does not want to take this fight. I think that, that probably was his best chance to get something done here. That might bite him. Especially the teleport wasn't really far. So it wasn't like a bait, big bait and switch. Yeah, I think that was a misplayed teleport. I'm sure he wanted to go down here. Okay, there's a lot of observation towers. So he's trying to bait something into a counter-attack to get value. Alright, teleport's coming in. Back is in effect, but yet another flag for Saitama in the north. Versus we only have reclaimed this scouting post here. How is his econ economic status? Not great. We're still down a lot of stone. We are level 2, uh, tier 2, sorry. We might see a tier 3 rush. Dwarves are another faction that can kind of do it. Alright, we're getting this upgraded, which might be good. We're under attack. But he needs to start picking off some trolls, or he's gonna be in big trouble. Because the numbers are growing. Building completed. Got double fighting as three scrappers. Or oh, scrap ports, better said. No, no real pointy. So fun fact, real pointy actually is like a cleave in terms of debuff. So it hits about three units per stone these boys throw. So it's really good value. Which just makes your front line even scarier. I forgot to check. Okay, yeah, the hitting camp is also there. Could get the better skull crushing. For that sweet, sweet cleave. Because that, like, the, the thrower's cleaver combo is pretty naughty. Building completed. Unfortunately, Rising Sun is only producing from two halls. The economy isn't looking super hot. He still has a lot of dwarves over. To get something done. But Saitama can just, behind all of this, he can just boom the crap out of his economy. Especially, the fewer trolls he loses, the easier it is for, his, it is for him to expand. Which I know is logical, but it's even truer for these boys. Alright, uh, good split, but unfortunately not enough. He kind of just needs to take that fight head on. He was trying to dodge a chieftain slam and then basically just walked into it. Meanwhile, the trolls have been wailing on him the entire time. So the wall breaker is going down for the cost of about 15 dwarves. And the thrower is getting the high hierophant. That's, yeah, that's a pretty decisive troll victory in this fight. This is the end of the line of Durin. I'm sorry, I don't know my Spellforce lore enough to make proper lore-related Spellforce Dwarfs remarks. So we're going Lord of the Rings. But that outpost is going down. Maybe we see a train hitting. Okay, it's getting some troll picks here, which is nice. But I'd be very surprised to see him coming back from that. That was pretty harsh. Level 6 for the Chieftain as well. I mean, the Fortified Outpost is... Dwarven Fortified Outpost is damn strong. But without an army at all... Even that's gonna go down eventually.
And Saitama has definitely gotten a lot more outposts out, which is a lot of resources being dumped, versus he himself hasn't lost many. Some properly trained wall breakers are coming in. We've got some iron mines, but we're not getting any anything with the iron, I think. We're under attack. Yeah, we're not taking up. We don't go the mole drive by. I'm very surprised to know I have not seen Rising in this tournament with a mole drive by. We finished research and a new technology. Compared to other uh, scouts, this upgrade is very cheap. It's only 10 food and 10 uh, charcoal. Building completed. So the mole drive by to wreck some economy is pretty damn cool. Really would have liked to see that coming out, but being busted out by him today. Uh, still, on, yeah. Ten pop cap. Building completed. That's looking pretty grim. The workshop is up. The sentry stance is there. Unfortunately, no sentries to shoot it with. Builds a granite hall now. Double granite hall. Not quite sure what the. Uh, I guess he's trying to go for golems. Well, I guess balloons. I think balloon balloons cost. Is it iron and food or iron and charcoal? We'll find out in a second. Meanwhile, we just see green blobs of wall breakers we lost a sector. coming across everywhere. And keep in mind the DPS of these boys. Okay, they cost charcoal, but nine iron. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, here come the towers. But that amount of wall breakers is a little bit too much. Building completed. And Saitama rolls We're through. Oh, looks like we're actually gonna see a capital snipe. Or do we see the GG before? How many is that? Ten wall breakers. Where is Chad Capital? It's not Chad enough though. <laughs> what if the, the barrage value on the throwers <laughs> was actually kind of insane. But Saitama takes it 2-0. Really well played. Yeah, it's, like I'm saying, like against a troll who knows what it's doing, it's so hard on the current patch. And Saitama definitely does know that. But I've also... I also have seen Rising play better. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's nerfs today. But GG nonetheless. We'll see them next time.